I want to bring back in Dr. Snyder and Dr. Nita. Um, Dr. Nita, you heard Brittany's story. What thoughts do you have for her? What would you want to call out? Well, Brittany, you know, I want to say congratulations to you on your beautiful baby. Your happy ending is what we hope for, for, you know, all moms and their partners. And Dr. Snyder, you say that it's also important for couples uh, that they have to honor the process. What do you mean by that? In terms of the process, give yourself time. There's no time limit on grief. There's no playbook, frankly. And it's really important to remember that this happened, right? It, it, there's almost a sense of, I want to just move forwards. But first you need to process. And that can look different for different women. A lot of women find it helpful to name their baby. Also, talk about your baby. Talk about your experience. It's not just for yourself, but for others who are struggling. Um, it really does help when you feel supported and you give support. And before we go, Brittany, I got to ask you, how did you feel seeing his eyes open for the first time? Oh, my goodness. The best thing ever. I'm, let me tell you, I'm not a crier. Believe it or not, you know, right now, um, <laughs> I'm generally not a crier. But I literally would beg him, please keep open your eyes, please open your eyes. So when I caught it on video, I just, I melted. He's so perfect, and I'm complete now. Well, Brittany, I wish you all the best with little Darius. And hey, listen, I want to thank uh, Dr. Nita and Dr. Snyder uh, for adding your expertise and your empathy. It's a very difficult topic. And Brittany, guess what? We're sending you some virtual hugs and great health. And guess what? One of these is coming your way. Here we go. Oh, my God. I'm your thank tiny you. miracle. We're going to send it to you, okay? <laughs> thank you so much. All thank right. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, guys. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market. Panic about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I could change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.